My mom told me a story today. She works at the hospital downtown. And earlier this week, her boss, the unit coordinator, forced, forced everyone to kneel <laughs> in the department for 10 minutes in solidarity with George Floyd. Now, the unit coordinator is a white woman, but she is either married or in a relationship with a black guy. And um, don't know if that was the motivation or not, or if it was just a power trip. So my mom is in her early 60s, and um, her health isn't that bad. Um, but when you're in your 60s, it's not that great either. She uh, had to get a pillow in order to do this. And when she told me about it, I my immediate response was, so you said no, right? Her response was she felt like she had to protect her job. Again, I'm pointing out the age thing because um, when you get to 50 plus, Whatever job you have, you better keep it. Because unless you want to be a greeter at Walmart, there isn't much out there and hardly anybody is going to even consider hiring you. So that's, um, that's the, her reality when it comes to um, what had happened. So I'd also like to point out, this was not about being in solidarity with George Floyd or Black Lives Matter. This was showing your loyalty to the party. How I know that is because after this uh, 10 minute kneeling session, uh, the coordinator immediately pointed out a nurse that she noticed that was not participating. She pointed her out to the entire group and asked her in front of everyone, why weren't you kneeling with everyone else? In which case she responded, I had to do my charting. Which is not an unacceptable answer. Because that's her job. So let's keep in mind here, this is 10 minutes in a hospital. Where... These staff members could have been, I don't know, answering a call to a room because maybe a patient needed something, um, charting, which helps doctors and med students uh, prescribe medications and treatments, you know, based on the information. There's a lot of things that could have been done in that 10 minutes that could have helped other people. But instead, this person decided to have a power trip and demand loyalty to the party. So I asked my mom if she was going to HR about it, and she was like, no. Because, again, she wants to keep her job. And then my immediate thought went to that nurse, who I hope contacted a lawyer and also contacted HR. Because the thing is, now that she didn't partake, they're going to be looking for something to get rid of her. Because she is not one of us. So there's a lot of this going on. Um, like I said in one of my previous videos, uh, the Modern Library, a publishing company that is over 100 years old now, is requiring all of their employees to go through anti-racism training. Required. So if you just say no, because there's, and this is true, no scientific basis to prove that any of this type of training helps with said issue, you'll still be fired. So the question, Gribs, 
is um do you pledge your loyalty to the party when something like this happens granted you are in a unique situation because you're self-employed what happens when you find out that uh, I don't know your wife or some family member it's like hey you wouldn't believe the shit that they had us do at work today or at least try to get us to do at work today or they're saying we're going to tomorrow because I for one uh, yeah if it's not in my job description <laughs> nope sorry um, Regardless of whether I believe in it or not, uh, this is not part of my job. And uh, not apologizing either, because um, quite frankly, it is totally inappropriate for them to ask any employees to partake in this. And uh, I'm sad to see that this type of thing is happening in my city that's uh yeah there's been a lot of talk about these um these blue zones <laughs> these these cities in red states that are completely progressive and or liberal and um shit's falling apart hearing stuff like this today and hearing what's going on in Atlanta, yeah. Look up Atlanta and what's happening there. Because they completely did away with their um, <laughs> their judicial system. Yeah. Uh, innocent until proven guilty. Um, investigations into police shootings. No, they, they skipped all that. Yeah. Uh, the mayor said... Uh, <laughs> Because, you know, she's she's the authority on this. So that the shooting that happened at the Wendy's was unjustified and demanded the immediate firing of the police officer. Which is not her job. So here's what happened. Police officer was fired. And uh, protesters still burned down the Wendy's. I didn't know Wendy's killed the guy. And then today the police chief resigned. So, um, I have a feeling that not only are they going to, uh, start disbanding police departments like they did in Minneapolis, I think cops are just going to quit their jobs. I think we're just not going to have cops for a while. And, um, who knows, maybe a year or two without police showing up when uh, somebody's breaking into your house and doing God knows what. We as a society will uh, start to rethink this. I'm going to end this with a Nine Inch Nails quote. Bow down before the one you serve. You're going to get what you deserve. And unfortunately, that would include my mom who really did not have a choice in the matter. Kudos to that nurse, though. She's got balls. We need more people with balls. I am tired of these people just going along with other people's bullshit, especially when there's... Ooh. Man, I, I'm waiting for the day that they're like, hey, guess what we're going to do, and you're going to join us, otherwise you're fired. My lawyer's got other things to say about that. So, um, yeah. Are they trying to uh, initiate you into the cult? Did you uh, declare your loyalty to the party today? Um, uh, the communist states of America. Welcome to it. Be sure to be an early member, otherwise uh, who knows where you'll end up. Keep on typing.